What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix sound delay and improve your overall audio quality when playing Cyberpunk 2077 on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, we will take a look at your in-game audio settings. Here, make sure that your dynamic range preset is set to studio reference, or to the device you wish to use, such as headphones. Below, you should also make sure that your master volume is set to at least 60%. After verifying and applying your changes, you can close the game. Right click the sound icon in your taskbar, or search for sound settings to open up your system sound settings. On this window, make sure to set the output and input device to your main device. Under Manage Sound Devices, you can select to test or to disable your devices. This is essential to troubleshoot any hardware issues. Also, testing your device with another source, such as a video on YouTube, will help you determine where the issue is coming from. In your advanced sound settings, you can assign the input and output devices for each application, as well as changing the volume. After tweaking your settings, you can close this window and search for Device Manager in your taskbar search and hit Enter. On this window, expand Audio Inputs and Outputs. Here, right-click the output sound device you prefer to use. Select Update Driver and make sure to search automatically for updated driver software. This will take a minute to make sure that your device's driver is up to date. When this is done and the issue persists, then your game files might be corrupted. To fix this, open up your Steam Launcher and here, Right-click Cyberpunk 2077 and select Properties. On this window, in the Local Files tab, select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a minute to re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files. In case you still have audio issues, then your hardware might be faulty. Ensure yourself that your input and output device is working fine with other applications on your system. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.